If you're new to our channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. It's my first soup since like months and months and months ago. Finally, it's cold enough. Um, so today I'm going to do a really, really, really super duper easy tomato soup because um, about a week and a bit ago, I had to rescue the very last of my tomatoes uh, because I've got blight. So uh, I wouldn't rescue any that got any kind of brown or mottling. I think you might have seen in one of the other videos. But those that I did rescue, some of them weren't perfectly ripe. I've had them sitting out on a tray in my south facing window for a week or so and they've ripened beautifully. So just for ease for filming and to speed things up, I skinned them this morning. All I do for skinning them is um, get a pan of boiling water on the go, pop the tomatoes in it for about one and a half minutes, that helps the skins to split, then immediately plunge them into an ice bath, as we call it, but basically it's a big bowl full of really cold water and ice if you can um, make any and remember to make some. Take them straight out of there. The reason we put them in the cold water is actually to stop them from cooking. So normally if you're bottling or freezing, you'd want to stop them cooking. It didn't matter this morning because I'm going to cook them today. And then the skin slip off really easily. And then I gave them a quick bit of a pulverise in the blender. Um, so they've got their seeds in, they've got their stalky bits in. It's all going to get blended down. So, apart from the tomatoes, because it's tomato soup, main ingredient, I've got three or four little stalks of my celery. That's really all I need because it's so strong and pungent. In fact, I think that's all I will do. Um, an onion, which I've already chopped, and a carrot, which is chopped. Um, so the carrot, the onion, and the celery are just going to go in with this little bit of, whoops, oil and water um, and that will give them a sort of a, a steam slash a fry. Let's just get all that in there. Look at the colours, aren't they beautiful? I think one of the joys of cooking, actually one of the joys of growing full stop is just all these gorgeous, gorgeous colours and if you're going to have to buy celery from the shop, I kind of feel a bit sorry for you because they're going to be those white, nasty, horrible things, but never mind. So they're going to go in there and sweat for about 10 minutes. It just sort of softens them down and gets their juices starting to come out. So we'll just cover it for now. Um, like I say, the tomatoes are nicely prepared because we skinned this morning. I'm just going to add actually a load of herbs because I love herbs. This is a mixture of some... I haven't really got my herb bed going yet, but this is from friends. So I've got a bit of marjoram, a bit of oregano, a little bit of thyme and a tiny bit of rosemary dried. And then I finished like thoroughly, thoroughly drying them. I put, I spread things out on a, on a thin sheet, bottom of the oven, really low temperature overnight if possible. And then I just kind of powder them, grind them up with my hands. So the tomatoes this year have been fantastic. The thing about tomatoes is when they're coming thick and fast, it's the height of summer, so you don't really want to eat soups. But I love my tomato soup, so I'm really looking forward to having this um, today. And tomatoes are a fantastic. They're, I think some people do call them a superfood. For me, they're a superfood. Packed full of vitamin A, so if you think in terms of your skin, hair, eyes, teeth, nails, brilliant. Packed full of vitamin C. Think of the antioxidants, mopping up all your free radicals. But, and here's a really, really brilliant thing with tomatoes, especially for you boys. There's been loads of research done on one of the phytonutrients in tomatoes called lycopene, which I always want to say lipocene, but it's lycopene, um, which there has been masses and masses of research done. And it shows that they can help to ward off prostate cancer and some of the colorectal cancers. So you boys, you should be getting your gnashes around tomatoes as often as you can. So that's simmering for 10 minutes. We'll come back to it in a minute, then we're gonna add the tomatoes and the stock. It's all gonna bubble away for another 20 minutes and then we'll be scoffing it. So come back in a minute. 
So now they've had a nice swept down and begin, begun to soften a little. Time to add your tomatoes. So this is about two pounds or a kilo if you are so inclined. That's the skin with skins on weight. So obviously you, you lose um, a few grams when the skins come off. And then now a litre of stock, which I've got prepared earlier because I'm like a little blue pea to go. You could also, at this stage, if you wanted to, you could actually add um, a squeeze of tomato paste just to give it even more richness. But I actually think that the tomatoes this year taste so fab. Just give it a scrudge around. Now at the moment it looks a bit like something, I don't know, out of Sean's Pond. Look at all that weed on the top. It does not look brilliantly appetising at the moment. Um, but we're just going to let it simmer now for about 20 or so minutes. Then I'm going to blend it. After blending, if you wanted super, super smooth, you could pass it through a sieve, but I, I'm not bothered. Um, so yeah, ignore the fact that it looks like um, a bucket of pond water. Simmer for 20 minutes and we'll see you back. The smell is just scrummy. So, like I said earlier, if you wanted to, you could actually blend it even more and then pass it through a sieve to get it really smooth. Look, even with the kitchen and the pigsty, I'm not gonna wait. So, as always, no salt, no pepper. This is obviously my bowl. First tomato soup of the season. It's like, um, it just feels like, do you remember when you used to come home from school in the lashing rain and the dark, and your mum would put a kind of tin of tomato soup on to get hot for you, and you'd feel all cosy and yummy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Okay, you all have to go away now, because I need to eat. Would anyone else like some? <laughs>